for my upcoming Cat Zero special, I bought a new camera. Uh, this one here, the GoPro Hero 7 Black, which is kind of awesome, but the sound is shit. And as I discovered on the yacht footage, it's a bit windy and it's just a load of noise. What I've got here is a fuzzy foam. It's a cover for it. Um, I originally got it for this camera here, the GoPro Hero 4. Uh, with a bit of stretching, it does fit over the Hero 7 and the 5 and the 6, whatever. The cutout is round, but it sort of stretches out to the square shape. Now, the other big problem with the sound on the, on the Hero 7 is the handling noise. I'm gimbaling. Anything that is bolted directly to the camera, it transmits sound. Because this is a sensitive mic. It doesn't do it on this camera. Only if you bonk the camera here, then you could pick up some noise. But on the Hero 7, it's very sensitive. So if you're holding on to the, this, all those noises transmit up the handle and into the camera. So I'm going to go to the lockup. I'm going to get some glue and some silicon and a whole bunch of other shit. And I'm going to see if I can figure out some way of isolating the handle from the mount. I'm also going to recreate my egg timer time lapse thing. Uh, this one isn't a panda, this one is a pig. And uh, again, I've got some nuts and quarter inch nuts and bolts and things that I'm going to glue to that and make a time lapse rotating thing. Okay, got my cardboard out and the inevitable sticks like shit to protect my floor. Oh, I've got some leftover silicon. Hopefully that's not gone off in the tube. There's my egg timer. I'm gonna snap the ears off of that. I'm gonna stick a quarter inch thread on the top. This is my idea for a flexi mount. This thing here is just to hold it together while the silicon goes off. A quarter inch nut. You'd normally insert that into a thing. GoPro mount will go on the top. And well, you might be able to see, but I've left about a millimetre or two gap. Load of silicon, load of quick curing silicon around that. And uh, maybe that'll work. I need to prep that surface first. Very quick. Gotta work quickly because I'm running out of daylight and it looks like it's gonna rain any second now. It's been raining all day, which is why I've left it until half four. That's sexual. Probably all gone off in the nozzle. It ain't pretty. It's really unattractive. Right, there's a little sticky label on the bottom of this. <laughs> this is not a toy. Right, the ears have got to go. Only glued on. Try not to stab myself in the hand with a screwdriver. Okay, piggy. go. I'm going to let that dry before I put the top one on. This is my skateboard. I have done a few dolly slider type tricks with that. My old trailer, if you ever saw my original channel trailer, that had a slider shot at the beginning. There's a ball head I usually put on there. I haven't used it since. 
but anyway, I'm using just to stabilize this while I glue a thread on its head. Are you ready, Piggy? I think that's about as close as I'm gonna get. Just tidy up the adhesive. Smile, Piggy. Just starting to form a skin on it now. It's gonna take a day or so. I'll put that somewhere safe. It's the next day. This weird contraption with its kind of wobbliness, squeeziness. Don't know yet whether it works. Um, so I'm gonna test it for you now and I'm gonna report back immediately the light is fading outside I have been at work all day so this is the GoPro without it and all of these finger movements transmit their way up into the camera stop that now it does oh <laughs> it does introduce a bit of wobble what I need to know is is this kind of movement gonna find its way up into the camera mics we'll find out but is, it works is this kind of movement gonna find its way up into the camera mics we'll find out and we have and the results are yes it works okay it works <laughs> it works it's isolated the sound doesn't travel up the handle into the camera but look as a proof of concept it works um, as something that I can use can you imagine me walking around the town with this and I'm talking into this and this hits the deck I'd be really unhappy <laughs> My egg timer time lapse machine is working now. My wobbly isolation mount is less wobbly now. Now that it's had a few days to thoroughly cure, it's just a little bit fragile. So I don't think that's gonna work. What I'm gonna buy is uh, anti-vibration mount that you get for homemade drones. So it's like two plates with a silicon type mount uh, isolation mount in each corner and then I bolt that together and I'll cobble it together onto, onto a, with a GoPro mount something so that's that time lapse time